And now part two of the video about the top 10 or 12 illusions of all time, okay, from me, Magical Mike. So check this out right now. Here we're gonna go. David Blaine, David Blaine card swap, David Blaine, very good American magician, of course. 20 years ago, he did quite a lot of, his early shows are very good, particularly, I think. He did a very good card swap, because some of the ace, and he, he holds a jack, I think, and they, they change places. Someone's holding the jack, and he's got the ace. And then suddenly, they've got the ace, and he's got the jack, they change places. Down on the street, it's a brilliant trick. I've done a lot myself in pubs and bars to friends and mates when I've been out and about with friends. It presses the girls, presses the guys, okay, it's a great trick, all right. It's called the, the um, swap, it's kind of called card swap basically, card swap, brilliant trick. It's on David Blaine's show, check it out, try and find it. David Blaine did it an awful lot, he did it over and over again, it's such a good trick, card swap. I think it's invented by a magician called Ken Brook, or Spock, Ken Brook, or... It's a very old trick, it probably goes back a hundred years to Erdenays, back a hundred years ago, the very first great card writer, Erdenays, who wrote a book, uh, Expert Card Techniques, a hundred years ago, Erdenays. But anyway, Blaine did it, and Blaine's a millionaire, so <laughs> you can make a lot of money out of magic, can't you? I, my tongue hangs out when I see him performing that. <laughs> Fantastic. So the Changing Swap card, it's called. Um, Dante Tyler, Copperfield again, I mean Copperfield's got so many great illusions over these 16, 17 specials. He's a compendium of great magic and if you want to see one great uh, special, Copperfield number 11, the Explosive Encounter from 1989, Copperfield does a dancing tie routine, that's the best Copperfield show I think he ever did in 1989. Copperfield's dancing tie, he gets a tie from the audience and it starts to move on its own and the, 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 the tie dances around the place then the tie starts to sing. Then other ties come on and start singing. It's bizarre. He did it live. It was such a brilliant, complex magic trick. It's amazing to see. It's on YouTube again. God feels dancing tie. Absolutely mind blowing. I've never seen anything as good as that. It's pretty much as good as I've ever seen. Um, it was done to uh, some sort of uh, Calypso song as well. Latin American Calypso song. Copperfield's Dancing Tire, Copperfield number 11. Check it out, okay? Find it on YouTube. The Explosive Encounter, the whole show is fantastic, but that trick, God almighty. That Dancing Tie, love it. Uh, Paul Daniels again, Vanishing Elephant. Dan Daniels did a Vanishing Elephant about 32 years ago on television. It's on YouTube again. Do check it out, Vanishing Elephant show. Elephant, it was done on an RAF or military airfield or something, I think. Military army field. Gurkha Regiment field or something. <laughs> Uh, somewhere in Buckinghamshire or somewhere around that area he did this and basically he he uh, <laughs> you know they got a big elephant in the middle of this field in broad daylight put a tent around it and the tent collapsed and the elephant's gone completely gone um, and that was it. It was amazing. It was amazing. It's really illusion. I know after to this day, I'm still a bit fit. I'm not even sure how it's done. I, I know how I think it's done. I was told the secret I thought how it was done I was told it was wrong. So I don't know exactly. I think I know it's done. If it's done the way I think it's done, I'm not sure, but I'm not really sure. I think it is done the way I think it's done, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's done in a different way. Whenever, however it's done, it was done by, it was kind of created by John Fisher, a magician and TV producer, John Fisher, produced Paul Daniel's show, produced Parkinson's show as well. Anyway, John Fisher loves magic. He was a big, big. Uh, I've seen John Fisher talk a lot uh, to, uh, at uh, various things. John Fisher. Uh, he loved Anthony Owen as well. I remember talking about Anthony Owen, very good magician. But anyway, John Fisher, I think, was mastermind behind this trick. Anyway, so do see the illusion of Vanishing Elephant. It's on YouTube again. I've never seen a Vanishing Elephant as good as that. It's pretty impressive. You know, it's a classic Vanishing Elephant. What a classic of magic, Vanishing Elephant. See, Roy did it on stage back in the 1990s and 2000s. 
Vanishing and appearing Edinburgh on stage and uh, Houdini did it. Almost 100 years ago, Houdini did it, Vanishing Elephant. You want to make a name and <laughs> do Vanishing Elephant, it's very good to do. Uh, got another trick that's amazing effect to Lincoln Ring. Lincoln Ring is a course, uh, I could talk about a lot of tricks here, a lot of illusions, so good. Lincoln Ring is a course, I've done it all in my videos, the Kissing Queen video is on there, check out Kissing Queen video I did, that has got Lincoln Rings on it, I've got a version of it, I've seen Copperfield do a version of it a long time ago, beautiful to music, I've seen Paul Daniels do a very, very brilliant version of Lincoln Rings, it's on YouTube, probably should find it. I've seen some people do Lincoln Rings, everyone's done Lincoln Rings, I've seen um, great, the master magician Jeff McBride do it, Lincoln Rings, fantastic again, to Evangelis music, it is fantastic, Lincoln Rings, go on, what trick, seriously. It's done, I think it's the National Curriculum, was in National Curriculum in China, good old China. Um, but as I say, you know, it's, it's kind of like, you know, um, you know, it's a fascinating illusion that the Lincoln rings. And I mean, uh, some people formed it. And I've, I've got a version right down here. Uh, my kids like it. If you want to learn magic and practice Lincoln rings, this is a great trick. You can do it anywhere on the street, you can do it on stage. Great illusion, great, great trick, certainly. Um, as I think, I think it's really good. Uh, doves, dove routine is really good. Doves is really good. Some of the dove, dove magicians producing doves is always interesting. The real greatest job dove magician of all time was Channing Pollock, like about 50, 60 years ago, pre the Beatles, pre all that. He, he performed on American TV and did the first ever real impressive dove act <laughs> producing doves. The best of that still, and also locked to those Lance Burton. Uh, his show, oh, it must be 34 years ago, his dove routine was the best ever. It's still on YouTube, I think you get it on YouTube. Uh, watch the way he's, again, his persona, the way he dresses, his stage presence, his body language, the way he holds himself up, the way he stands, the way he looks at the audience. He looks at Elvis Presley, he's such a good looking guy, Lance Burton. Wonderful, wonderful, beautiful dove routine. Absolutely love it. And certainly one of the best bits of magic I've ever seen in my life. I don't think I'll be, ever beat Lance Burton's doves. Um, it really was fantastic. I saw him do it live in Las Vegas back in '93, and it's a holy grail of magic. I just, I just love, I just love watching it. I love watching. It. I still love watching it today. Sometimes I, uh, I put it on to watch it when I'm feeling a bit mopey, or whatever. I put, the, I watched Lance Burton's Doves on YouTube just to watch it. I'm not a dub magician. I'm not a dub magician, but God, it's brilliant. Really watch it. Um, another classical magic course is Cups and Balls. Cups and Balls routines, there are, there are many magicians. Um, Cups and Balls is an ancient trick going back 3,000 years to ancient Egypt. It's done by, uh, was done by a magician called Dead Eye, De or Deddy. And it's on a wall in Egypt. It's on a wall of a tomb called of Beni Hassan in Egypt. Now, Penn and Teller did a show about 20 odd years ago, 15 years ago, when they visited the very tomb and did the Cups and Balls in the tomb. You check out on YouTube. So, show done in Egypt, Penn and Teller in Egypt. It does, they, it, the tomb is real. It's the Beni Hassan tomb. It's about 3,000 years old. I've been to the pyramids. I've been to Pat Vanilla Kings myself with my mate Broggy. Hi, Broggy. Uh, we went to Egypt, uh, God, about 25 years ago. But anyway, I never got to see it. But the tomb is there, and you can go in the tomb, and there uh, up on the wall is a man doing cups and balls. Um, I've done a version of it myself to kind of like a bit of uh, dubstep music, um, not classical version. I did it on my, my video. So it's called the Cups and Balls video. Check out my Cups and Balls video. It's on YouTube again. And share it to your mates. I did quite a good version, didn't I? That? <laughs> uh, but many, many people do it. I mean, it's a great trick. Um, Funny enough, I've seen, I know it's a couple of people do it, I've seen other people do it over the years. I saw one guy, an American magician, who, who produced three chicks, little chicks out of the cups, and that got the best ever reaction I've ever seen. I've seen the seriously, produced three chicks, little, it's totally harmless to, 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 to animals, it really is, but produced three chicks out of the three cups, which is how they used to do it back in the day, back in uh, 3,000 years ago.
good. I mean, I was the audience was just taken aback, completely taken aback by this. And so was I when I watched it. I've never seen a reaction quite like it. And it was impressive. It's, uh, it's conceptually one of the great tricks of all time. So much magic in it, you know, the, trick, the ball vanishing, appearing in the cup, out of the cups, through the cups, then three balls appear, then three chicks appear, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to load in the cups. But conceptually, artistically, psychologically, disciplinary, uh, academically, you know, this trick is amazing. <laughs> it really is. Um, there's a, a magic snack a, a, a academic subject in a way because you can study it, you can rehearse it and practice it, and not even perform it if you want to just rehearse and practice it and study it without even knowing to perform it or perform it. You can just study the psychological aspects of magic and certainly there's a lot of psychology in the cups and balls. Good trick, says he. Uh, the trick again, the trick again, the flying ring. Flying ring okay, is a trick where you can take a ring uh, and it disappears and appears in your pocket. And you could do it over again, take a ring, disappear, power it and appears in your back pocket. And it's a great trick. It's, it's by a guy called Al Coran, the flying ring. Now, Cobbfield did it a couple of times in his show. That's how good it is. He did it twice, twice in his TV specials. He made it appear on a sneak. He vanished it and he made it appear on a little tiny little sneaker, little uh, training shoe, a kiddie training shoe, tied to a lace. Um, and it's a great, great trick. I think it's Cobbfield 15 or 15, 16, one of the last shows he ever did anyway, it's on that. Uh, and uh, it's also in Cobbfield number two, I think. It's very early shows. I've seen many people do it. I've done it myself on stage. It's a fantastic trick. It's one of the best tricks I've ever created conceptually. If you want to buy magic and don't know what it is, go and buy it. The flying ring trick. Have a look on YouTube and see how it's done. It's done with a thing with a reel, basically. But um, you need to find a get 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 the prop, get together and do it to your mates in a pub, do it to your mates on stage, do it to everyone, do it to anybody. It's great. I've done it in cabaret myself, I've done it in pubs, I've done it in clubs, I've done it in bars, I've done it at school, I've done it in college, I've done it, I've done it at work with people in the office <laughs> it's such a good trick seriously everyone was like wow it's amazing it's so mind-blowing good it's a flying ring by a magician called al Quran, and this is nothing short of a miracle it's not tricky this trick is a miracle so if you want to learn some magic or do some good magic and i guarantee flying, you'll be doing the flying ring in every bit every performance you ever do you'll always do flying ring i always do it and i love the trick flying ring it costs about 30 quid i can get it on um, some of the other websites magic websites okay um, but get flying ring if you want any any more questions about what's about magic just uh, ping me a message on youtube uh, i can give you some of my advice okay and this does maybe quite a bit of money actually over the years i made some money out of this over the years um i was in travel business for i've been in travel business for 25 years but i have made since a kid money out of magic believe me um and the trying to stop so do one more one more of these things a couple, a couple of great effects what's catching the bullet catching the bullet it's not a trick you could do. I wouldn't recommend doing catching bullets. It's an old classic. Penn and Teller did it. It was voted best trick of all time by a poll. I don't know. You know, catching bullets. Not sure about it. It's dangerous. Chung Ling Su, Chinese magician, hundred odd years ago, died. Was killed in Wood, Wood Green Empire in London, doing it on stage. Apparently, he was a bit depressed anyway. So I don't know whether it's fake or not fake. Well, whatever it was anyway. Catching bullets is not a good thing to do. Okay. Um, but anyway, Penn and Teller did it. Many people have done it. I think. Um, uh, a number of magicians have done the catching bullets. It's not my cup of tea. If you want to do it, it's up to you. Maybe in America with guns are legal, it's okay. In Britain, guns are legal anyway. Uh, but yes, it's a great trick. I wouldn't say it's, it's to me personally a trick that I personally love, but I do think it's a very conceptual course. The bullet catching the teeth is, is also a great trick. Um, I don't find my fun one to put for a real really good illusion to watch is it's cocoon, Copperfield's cocoon or substitution trunk. Now, substitution trunk or cocoon is it called or Copperfield is where a bloke gets in a box, a girl and tied up in the in the box, a girl gets top of the box and they change places really fast. Okay, the girl's suddenly in the box and the bloke's out of the box. And that's it, it's called a substitution substitution trunk. Now Great version of it is really great. You can see it's done by the Pendragons. Pendragons is a, a brilliant American art. They're quite old, old now. Back in the 80s and 90s and before that, the Pendragons did this effect on stage, the, the um, substitution, substitution trunk, if I can say it. And uh, she's quite sexy anyway, you know, and, and he's quite, he missed a beer chest, you know what I mean? He's a bit like a he-man, you know what I mean? And he get tied up and put in the box and she get on top of the box and suddenly, suddenly she's in the box and he's out of the box. And it's an amazing a changeover tripe illusion. So check it out, Pen Dragons on YouTube. Have a look for Pen Dragons.
gorgeous truck, amazing. Uh, Comfort is a version of that as well, called Cocoon. Cocoon is a version of it as well. Uh, Comfort again, changed places with the girl. It's on Comfort um, I think it's on Comfort let me think, 15 I think it's on. Uh, one of his last shows he did back in 1993, I think it was. Check it out, Comfort Food is an amazing new version of it. He does it the music of Genesis. There's all wits to Genesis. Phil Collins, fun music, but it's fantastic. Do, do check it out, it's really wonderful. The fantastic Cocoon Illusion, done by Comfort Food as well. Now, I can talk about I love Comfort Food. Comfort Food has, has, would often win all the prizes because he is a fantastic magician. He always creates brilliant, rounded, and melded uh, versions of magic and is quite a genius. So that's, got, that's a lot of the good tricks you can see. I won't go on too much in the video, but that's about 10, 12 illusions and effects that are really worth you checking out your time on, on YouTube to find those effects and learn about magic and see some amazing mind-blowing bits of magic and how uh, the art and craft of magic can go further forward than, than you think possible into zones that are really quite amazing and quite uh, mathematically academic, artistic, brilliant, and really, really, really fantastic. Do, do check out those amazing videos okay i hope you enjoyed the video that gives a bit of um, insight into some great uh, magic illusions to check out on on the internet on youtube and inspire you maybe to go and do some magic as well whether it's to mates in a pub whether it's to friends at work whether to go on stage perform magic as well close-up magic it's, it's a great art form it's brought a lot of uh, brightness and light and love into my life as well i have to say and please do remember to like and subscribe. Please click the videos as well for more content as well on my channel. But please do remember to hit the button to subscribe as well. Please subscribe and help me out. Much appreciated if you do that. And for more content as well. See you soon again for some more magic. And please do remember to like and subscribe. See you later.